We travel to Baja, Mexico and see the sardine runs, which ends up being a giant gorge fest for a lot of large sea animals from whales, dolphins, and marlins. And on a journey of struggle, perseverance, and danger as we unite with old friends and take on new challenges in a new chapter of our adventures. But first, let me introduce myself. I'm Don, and if you enjoy travel and adventure, you've come to the right channel, where I share tips and experiences to make sure that your next adventure is a wonder to behold. On this trip, we spent a little over a week down in Mexico and met up with some great friends that we've gone adventuring with in the past, Magdalena Bay, and it has been growing in the adventure travel scene due to its easier access to sardine runs that attract many animals that travel there for a bountiful food that they bring. The sardines visit there for spawning and during that time other animals hunt them and force them into defensive bait balls where certain fish such as marlins and mahi-mahi push the bait ball to the surface where birds, sharks, whales, marlin, mahi-mahi, dolph dolphins, and seals gorge on them until the ball is fully eaten. Every early morning before sunrise, you rise and shine and head out several hours outside of Magdalena Bay into the open ocean on a small vessel looking for the bait balls to be pushed to the surface where you'll get the opportunity to jump in and snorkel and observe them and observe the action below the water. The bait balls can move dynamically and very quickly so the primary way to observe the bait ball is snorkeling and hard swimming to keep up with the bait balls. The bait balls are ultimately the sardines trying for their lives to survive and other animals gorging on them. Sometimes the wildlife will be successful at pinning the sardines into a static position where ultimately the sardine ball will be doomed in time. Due to the nature of the ocean, no one is guaranteed on what we will see, but we were extremely fortunate as we witnessed both brides and humpback whales hunting and striking the static bait balls. Witnessing a beautiful and majestic humpback circle around Rapili, pick up full speed and snap its mouth around a mouthful of sardines was out of this world. We were all struck with shock as we bared witness to perhaps a once in a lifetime moment with everyone around us. It is by far the coolest thing I've ever seen. We may have been witnessing the first humpback to hunt sardines ever in this area. There are also extremely high levels of mahi-mahi, which is abnormal for the area. While it was amazing to see them hunting, it was concerning to see such high levels of them in the area. Of course, we also had great shots of Marlin working as a team to keep the sardines packed and taking their turns to snag a sardine out of the ball. They used their long nose as a harpoon that can spear a sardine or slice it in half, but it can also be nerve-wracking to see them flying around as they are active harpoons in the water and you're sitting there watching them. It's important to always keep aware of the sardine bait ball and its position to you so that you stay out of the line of fire. The bait ball moves often and very quickly. These sardines can also try to use you as a shield as they struggle about to survive. This happened to us as the sardines get picked off. They eventually decide to abandon their defensive positions as in the bait ball and seek shelter in anything they can. This includes you and they can stuff themselves anywhere they can, which includes your armpit. This is where your ability to catch the sardine and toss it away will come in handy as a friend did on our trip. As sad as it might feel to let that sardine go, if you let it hide there, it will only attract unwanted biting in your direction. We went with Latitude Encounters, ran by Fernanda, which takes care of most in arrangement. Overall, the team on board the boat and the crew were very experienced and very kind. It's worth noting that Magdala Bay is not a popular tourist area and so they're not necessarily catering for tourism although the Fernanda and Latitude Encounters does a great job at establishing a great program there. It's a small fishing village at heart and so it's to make sure you have the right expectations when you go into there it's not like a five-star resort in Cancun kind of uh, accommodations it's gonna be uh, quite a bit less than that but still it is very pleasant and going there is well worth it. Our adventure in Baja Mexico concluded after nine days where we were able to scuba dive with bull sharks and swim with the sardine bait balls of Magdalena Bay. We came we saw and we left nothing behind 
except for our own memories. We faced the trials and tribulations together and all suffering was shared. And we counted on each other for optimism. And we continued to YOLO the experience to the fullest. Our friendship bonds grew only stronger between those who went with us and the folks who we met along the way. And we look forward to what adventures come next. If you're curious about our upcoming trips, check out our subreddit in the link down in the description below. And feel free to join us on a future adventure. It'd be great to have you. Be sure to smash that like button. And until next time, we'll see you then.